Oh, Dude, doesn't that look it. so legit? Hell yeah. Alright. <laughs> Let's get to work. What's going on guys? So spring is finally upon us and today I'm gonna be going ahead and just switching cars around bringing the 240 back to my shop and then I'll be able to start driving the Skyline again. But before we do any of that, what I always wanted to know to help the channel grow was what's a good time and day that you guys usually view the channel? Do you guys usually get an update on email or how does that work like? say upload on a Friday afternoon before two o'clock around five o'clock whatever if you guys could do me a huge favor drop down in the comments below what time usually a good day to upload that'd be great so just to get the channel to grow and everything I'm trying to do whatever it takes we're trying to hit 50k at least honestly we're trying to hit 20k by the summertime so if you guys could just help me out and let me know best time to upload I guess what do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to see everything being detailed? Uh, just the fun stuff, a little bit of both. Anything is greatly appreciated. Like I said, uh, if you guys could just comment down and that'd be a great help. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and just rotate the whole car around because if you guys see that hill, well, it's not like a hill, but the driveway is just like really steep right there. So I gotta do a whole U-turn bring this bad boy to the garage and then we can go ahead and pick up the skyline and then we can start working on this again. We just made some space right here. Just clean this side up. Got Adrian over here finished with his bay. Nice and sparkly black official paint. Now I could go ahead and bring the 240 in after an hour in traffic. So let's go ahead and do that. I forgot how much lower the 240 looks. All right. Get back this in there, do some drift upgrades. There we go, 240's all nice and parked. Go ahead and start jacking this up, take everything off. And we'll get to all the knuckles and all the fun stuff. Just got back, went all the way to Greenwich to meet up with my buddy Sam. He gave me a crazy hookup on uh, some GTR R33 and just found out that they're V-Spec seats. So I'm gonna be installing those. Give you guys a little show of how they look super clean minus one little mishap and this is a clean one just needs some uh, vacuuming got the other one on here these Aunt Ling Ling seats are about to be gone so everything's all clean minus this little uh, I don't know if you guys can see this little cigarette burn extra JDM points right there we are just gonna take these out and switch them all over all right, we just got four 14 mil bolts right here. One, two, three, four. And this whole thing will pop right out. Woo-wee! There we go. Those are all gone. Oh, man. Yo, you trying to vacuum for me? Free vacuum. 50 bucks, 50 cents I'll give you. We here at Curl Lifestyle love to give back to our customers. So our customer loves to help the earth and the environment. So we're making some cardboard Recaro seats. It should work. Yeah, let's test fit it. We're gonna cut a lot of it off. Good enough. Ooh 
dude. Low max to the max. Let's go. You can make some awesome uh, slits right here. Put on some expensive Corbo harnesses. Dude, that actually looks pretty good. Dude, uh, doesn't that look so legit? Hell yeah. All right, I'm just gonna write either uh, Recaro. No, we'll match it. Put some uh, Corbo right there. Got the Bride High Max seat up there, red. All right, now we're legit as possible. Woo, Bride Low Max seat, and they are low. That thing is touching the ground. We should, we should try it out. <laughs> high Max and Low Max. Oh, definitely get definitely get it outside. Dude, we are legit. Dude, this is so low. I feel like I'm in the baby seat. Definitely get an outside view of this. Yeah. Dude, that's a joke. Here. <laughs> it's the tripod. <laughs> Yo, how do you zoom it? Oh, my phone just died, like always. Are we good? Ace getting the passenger side. Oh man, the high maxes though. The high max. That's gonna be the thumbnail right there. This is how you get into the passenger side. <laughs> Legit race car. <laughs> got to see if my neck does. Ow. Oh, I opened the sunroof. Yeah, oh yeah, like Kurtzman said, Jimmy Oaks. I know you want one of these seats because you tall as hell. These are super low maxes. That's what happens when we have too much time on our hands. But now we could go ahead and just vacuuming off these seats and throw this in. Sadly, these are gonna have to come out. Dude, I'm like so impressed. That looks so legit. I'm about to sell those. I'm hyped. I had to sadly take out the bright low max seats, but the GTR seats fit so well all nice and clean got to go for a ride in them to see how it feels compared to my Ling Ling seats over here sofa cushions and if you guys want this hit me up on Instagram we'll set something up but I love the way it looks right now definitely looks good I need some uh, different seat belts but it's starting to be nice outside gonna go for a little test drive and wash the car also all right, so right away, oh, I'm gonna hit this cup. Yep, hit the cup. Right away, definitely feel different. Like, it just hugs you. It's definitely not, definitely not like my Corbeau seats in the 240, but these do definitely hug you. I don't feel like I'm sitting in a sofa either. So this is definitely a good upgrade. And for the price that I got them for, I didn't spend crazy money, because you know how I am, I'm cheap. So I'm just gonna go take it for a little nice drive. Had to raise the car a little bit too because I was uh, I was getting stuck on my driveway. I wish I had a video of that. But I got stuck in my driveway. That wasn't fun. Raised it about half an inch and I was rubbing like every single time I was bumping with the car. Every time I hit a speed bump, I was scraping pretty bad. So right now it's not hitting nothing. So I'm happy. We're gonna go to the car wash right now. And I don't know if you guys want to see that, but be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more, guys.